So why are estate agents such liars? Well, here it is. I'm going to tell you why so many agents overvalue property. They simply overvalue in order to lock you in. They lock you into a long-term contract. They get more boards in the ground, they get more name recognition, and they'll get more inquiries from those boards. So it's kind of a self-fulfilling prophecy. Meanwhile, you go on, you sign on for eight to 12 weeks, your property's overpriced, it's not gonna sell. Week three or four comes around, the conversation goes, well, we've tried at X price, let's reduce it. So it either it sells or it doesn't, they'll just keep reducing the price until it does. And meanwhile, they've got other vendors starting their journey at week one. The cycle starts over. They hope that by the end of their sole agency period, they find a buyer or they continue reducing the price. Meanwhile, you're going along with it or your line in the sand is drawn. For whatever reason, you can't reduce it to the correct price and then you come off the market. And this is exactly why so many properties don't sell. So in short, if you want to sell, price your property correctly. Don't be a non-mover. Put it on at a sensible price and sell it within two weeks. The golden rule of real estate is that the longer a property is on the market, the less you will eventually achieve for it. This is simply because everyone wants what other people want. Make it more desirable. Tidy up, make it look good, get it sold quickly. If yours is sticking around, people will think, hey, there's something wrong with it. I don't want it. No one else wants it. What's wrong with it? Nah, see you later. So make sure that your property is priced correctly, it looks amazing, and that should be easy to do because all these properties that are going on the market, it's more than likely that they are overpriced. So if you underprice it compared to what they're asking, then yours is actually the correct price and it will sell. Because you actually need estate agents to overvalue other people's property, it makes your property look better. Just don't go along with it. Don't inflate your asking price. If you have a sensible asking price, you will get more interest to get more buyers through the door. Because buyers cannot offer on a property if they're sitting on their sofa. They're going to offer on your property if they're sitting on your sofa. So get them through the door, make them fall in love with it, and make sure that your property is better value than everyone else's. That doesn't mean that you're underselling it just means that you're getting sold and other people aren't. So more than half of properties that go on the market, they do not sell at all. So don't be one of those.